Hey guys, it's Paul from Online Sax Academy and in today's lesson we've got three example solos on the tune Ain't No Sunshine. So we're going to be doing three example solos today for beginners, intermediates and advanced level players. There's a slight twist as well as this is a more interactive lesson and we're going to be trading phrases. So first of all to get set up you can get yourself the free PDF for the beginner version and that's available at onlinesaxacademy.com in the free library. And over in the premium library we have the intermediate and advanced level solos and over there there's also an extended backing track allowing you to stretch out a bit more, try out some more ideas over some different feels. So just like the tune Sunny we did a couple of weeks ago, this song is also most commonly played in A minor. That's because it's a really nice key for guitarists. Now that puts us on alto sax into F sharp minor and on tenor sax that puts you into B minor. So the first thing to do is to really get to know the minor pentatonic scale and then you can also get to know the blues scale which is just the minor pentatonic with that added flattened fifth. You should be able to run up and down the saxophone with those notes but here's the important thing without looking at the note names and that's going to really help you internalize this scale and then when you come to improvise with it it's going to feel so much more natural and easier. Now the way these performances are structured is that I play a two bar phrase and then I leave a two bar gap. So that means you can use this video in a number of different ways. First of all I'd recommend just listening to the phrase and then repeating it back in your two bar gap. The next way you can use it is you can play with me on the example solo and then in the two bar gap you can improvise like a similar phrase. For the beginner version it's a horizontal approach to improvising meaning we're not worried about outlining the chord changes underneath but we're just going to stick on the blue scale throughout. Now for each of these phrases I'm trying to convey a certain idea. So for the first phrase I was just using a limited number of notes. I was mainly just using three and then I added a fourth towards the end. So for the second phrase I was thinking about starting high and ending low and for the third phrase it was the other way around I was starting low and trying to end high. For the fourth phrase I was using some longer notes at the beginning and trying to make a feature of one particular note. Okay so here's the beginner version. So for the intermediate version I started to use more of the wider scale. So that's mainly the F sharp Dorian scale for alto sax and B Dorian for the tenor sax. For my second phrase I was really basing it on the chord tones which is more of what's known as a vertical approach to improvising and it really helps spell out the chord in your line. So these are the chords that are used in Ain't No Sunshine and here are the chord tones. So just like your blues scale you should try to memorize these and be able to use them when you land on those specific chords. For my third phrase I was taking out some nice musical structures that you can find within the Dorian scale. So for alto sax it was the group of notes E, G sharp, A, B and then B, D sharp, E, F sharp. And for tenor saxes I have it here transposed for your key. And finally for the fourth phrase I was thinking more rhythmically trying to use some triplets, both triplet eighth notes and triplet sixteenth notes. Okay so here's the intermediate version. And for the advanced version I was using these techniques. 
For the first phrase, I was combining for alto sax my F sharp minor pentatonic and my G sharp minor pentatonic. Now, the reason why I can use my G sharp minor pentatonic as well is because all of those notes can also be found in the wider Dorian mode. For my second phrase, I was using some chromatic passing notes and some enclosures. Over on the courses section at onlinesaxacademy.com, in the music theory course, I break down what these things are and you can have a go at putting them into your own lines. For my third phrase, I was improvising with an A triad and a B triad for alto saxes, which would be a D triad and an E triad for tenor saxes. And finally, for the fourth phrase, I was using what's called a sus arpeggio. So this is a suspended arpeggio, and it outlines more of a floaty kind of sound, and it can get you up and down the range of the sax quite quickly as well. Okay, so here's the advanced version. So remember to head over to onlinesaxacademy.com where in the premium library you can download all three versions with the backing tracks and the performance tracks. As well as that there's the extended backing track so you have a bit more time to try out these ideas. And also don't forget to check out everything else that there is on offer there. Premium members will have access to everything that's in the premium library and all the lessons that are on the courses page. Let me know in the comments how you got on with this one and if you like this style of video with those gaps leaving you spaces to put your own phrases in. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you all next week.